Helen. Uh, Helen, stop! Helen! Stop it, Helen. Why she stick her fingers in my mouth? Because she meant you talking all day when she can't hear nothing. If she can't hear, then how she no talk coming out of my mouth? I think she trying to talk. Now she going crazy eating herself. Stop that. Helen, stop it. <laughs> Helen, Helen, stop it. Oh, help, 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 he's trying to kill us. He's trying to kill us again. Helen? Helen, stop it. Helen, stop it. Stop it. OK, OK, give mother the scissors, Helen. <laughs> Helen, give mother the scissors. Helen. Okay. Okay. There now. Okay. It's my pretty girl, huh? Well, Father, I hope you got your story ready. What story is that? The one you're gonna tell when the little savage kills somebody. Your Honor. I had no idea that poor, deaf, and dumb child could be so violent. Your sister is none of your concern, James. Uh, don't you have some occasion you need to dress for? Why don't I ever meet any of your young friends, James? Why well, can I invite people here? But surely your friends don't think that Helen is any reflection on you. Well, Helen is the real head of this house. She's probably just pretending she can't speak or hear, so she don't have to answer to anyone. Your jealousy of that helpless child is intolerable. Auntie. Oh, well, here we are. Here's our father and Aunt Helen. <laughs> I saw James. I hope the two of you went quarreling again. No, no. Oh, Katie, we all love Helen. But surely you must see what an effect she is having on your household. Mm. Why, James and Arthur can barely speak a civil word. And all your time is given over to the girl. You hardly ever have time for your new baby. James is right. You and Arthur must do something oh. and soon. What can we do, Evelyn? The only thing left to do is to take Helen to an asylum. And Kate would never stand for it. Well, have you tried? We have taken her to every hospital in two states. No one holds out any hope. What about that Dr. Chisholm up in Baltimore? I read an article in your very own newspaper, Arthur. They say he has cured many cases of blindness that other doctors have given up on. Now, why not write to him? And have Kate's heart broken again? I'm prepared for my heart to break any number of times, Captain. I'll write to him myself, if you like, Katie. There isn't going to be any cure. And the sooner we accept that fact, the better off we'll all be. I will never accept it, Captain. I can't. I'm going to the printers. Mm -hmm. And now, look, Helen. I can't turn my back for a moment. Arthur, Helen knows a lot more than you think about what goes on in this house. Nothing is solved by running all over the country every time some quack doctor gets his name mm -hmm. in the paper. Nothing is solved by running to the office either. Mm. 
kid, darling, what can anyone do? The kindest thing we could do would be to find a sanitarium in a beautiful spot where she no. would be taken care of. No, never. Oh, she tore off my buttons. Oh. It's eyes. She wants the doll. She wants the doll to have eyes. I'm sorry, Evelyn. Just tell me what it'll cost to have the buttons replaced. And I'll... I know she does. Oh, don't mind about that. What are a couple of buttons if it makes Helen happy? I'll sew them on if you like. Is that what you're trying to do? Make Helen happy? Nothing makes her happy. Everything you give only makes her worse. <gasps> she can have these little things that make her happy. Oh, oh Helen! The Helen! <laughs> Helen! <laughs> Listen, you cannot do things like that, okay? Why? She can have the little things that make her happy. If you won't send her away, it's okay. then we must find some way of confining her. Oh, you want to lock her away in the attic like some sort of mad woman? She wants to talk. All right. I'll write to Dr. Chisholm. Dr. Chisholm could do nothing for the girl and refer them to Dr. Alexander Graham Bell. As the girl is young and the parents are not willing to send her to us, I have put you up for the role of governess. Governess? Or nursemaid? We both knew you'd get rid of me one of these days. You've accomplished so much here. But when you first came to us, you couldn't even spell your name. Are your eyes still so painful? No, it's my ears, sir. Tell me about the child. Is she bright or dull? Can she be taught? She's given to tantrums, they say. So am I. Maybe you should warn the Kellers about me. I've told them nothing of your history except your qualifications for the job. Here is the money for your train ticket. And here is a gift from all of us with our love. We're going to miss you. This is my last chance to counsel you, Annie. You lack tact and the talent to bend to others. You're hard to fool and harder to please. But all the same, we are proud of you. We'll go off to meet the train again. That's why I hope the girl is on this one. Oh, she will be. Uh, well, we'll see you at supper then. Your mother's not here, child. I'm here, though. I'm your father. I'm your father. I used to swing you through the air. You weren't even two years of age yet. I wonder if you remember any of that. Or any of us. Here you are. There's a piece of candy for you. <laughs> 